that moment when the workers at the site battled to cap wellhead 01 of OML 29 belonging to ITO Eastern Exploration and Production Company. It looks like attempting to clean the Augean stables that the men are willing to stay the course until the stubborn wellhead bowed to sustained pressure. Somehow, the workers acknowledge the fact that their efforts would not have paid off without a stroke of the divine. About two weeks ago, we were mobilized to sites. We came in here and we saw the situation. We had to attack it technically. We approached with um, our techniques. We were able to secure the well, as you can see. The well has been secured. The executive governor of this state, Baesa, he visited us one week ago and we gave him our word that in one week time, we are going to shut in the well, secure it. And you can see we have arrested the situation. The environment is safe. Wellhead 01, belonging to ITO Eastern Exploration and Production Company, has been capped. It has been a subject of concern, worry, anxiety, and perhaps controversy because of the volume of crude oil spilled into the environment. But today, it is good news to the company, it is good news to the people of Nimbe that finally this wellhead has been killed. Perhaps what is expected of ITO is to conduct a remediation work and a clean-up exercise to give the people some form of assurance. Though the wellhead has wreaked havoc on Warikumakiri, flowing all the way to the fishing settlements and communities in proximity to the troubled spot, the people can now heave a sigh of relief. But no doubt they have to wait a little longer to sing Redemption Song. Ofietime George Arise News.